everyone, it's Max here. In this video, I'll show you how to make an automatic solar night sensor lamp, which uses an op amp comparator circuit, which contains the LM393 chip. So first I'll show you how to make the circuit from scratch, and then I'll show you how to integrate it into a homemade lamp like this. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is take all the components and stick them into the blank PCB like so. Now you're going to solder all of the components in place. Now you're going to start making all of the connections. It was a bit too hard for me to join all the connections with just soldering lead, so I found it much easier to use copper wire as well. Now we're done connecting up the whole circuit. So let me explain to you guys the connections of the circuit. If we flip it around, at the top we have the battery connector here. So this is the ground rail or negative. It connects to one end of the light dependent resistor and it keeps going. It connects to one end of the potentiometer and pin 4 of the LM393. At the top we have a positive rail which connects to the 220 ohm resistor and 10k resistor then connects to pin 8 of the LM393 and the left side of the potentiometer. And the front pin of the potentiometer goes to pin 3 of the LM393. Pin 2 of the LM393 connects up to the 10k resistor. The 220 ohm resistor connects up with the anode or the positive side of the LED. The cathode or the negative side of the LED goes up and around and then connects to pin 1 of the LM393. Then coming back to the photoresistor which connects to the negative rail of the circuit. The other end of the photoresistor goes all the way up to the 10k resistor. So that's all the connections of the light dependent voltage comparator circuit. I hope that helped. So now I'm going to hook up the circuit that I just made to this ring LED lamp that normally clamps around the pole of an umbrella or the inside of a tent, but I'll be using it for my lamp. So this is going to be the light that points down and we're going to make another part of the lamp that shines outwards to the side. So what I just did now is replace the LED with a couple of wires hanging out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bottom part of the lamp that points 360 degrees outwards. Thank you. 
So that the lamp shines more effectively, I decided to cover the inner panels with some aluminum foil. At the top you should have four pairs of wires sticking out. Twist the positive wires together and then twist the negative wires together. Then hook up the op amp comparator circuit. Now I'm also going to hook up this ring LED light to the other lamp that I just made. I'll attach the negative wire coming from the battery to one end of this push switch and then the other wire that comes from the switch will go to the negative terminal of the circuit. Solder the positive end of the battery to the positive terminal of the circuit. The button switch seemed to stop working so I replaced it with a regular rocker switch. Since we want the photoresistor on the outside of this lamp so it can reach the sunlight, I'm going to extend its connection with a couple of wires. I thought it would be a good idea to put the light dependent resistor onto the solar panel facing the same way so that it is more sensitive to the light. So I'm going to feed through the two photoresistor wires coming from the circuit that I've made to the photoresistor that is glued to the solar panel. Then take a couple of random wires and solder them onto the solar panel terminals. On the battery I'm going to glue one of these lithium ion battery charge controlling modules. And I'm going to solder on the two wires coming from the solar panel terminals to the input wires of this module. You can see when I shine a light on the solar panel, the charging module LED light turns on. Cut two more short pieces of wire, which attach to the output terminals of the module, and these will be going straight to the battery. Here I'll glue on this custom made splash proof cover from a plastic jar, and I'll glue it over the bottom part of this lamp. And now that I've wired everything up inside this LED ring lamp, I can screw this cover on. And the last thing we need to do in order to finish this lamp is just glue the solar panel on and glue on some sort of cover so that water doesn't seep in through the top. So this is the area where I'm gonna set up my lamp. Here I got a one inch PVC pipe with a bamboo piece that slides right in, has a pretty tight fit, so uh, I'm going to first bang this in in the area I want it banged in, and then I'll slide this on top and then put the lamp on.
Okay everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, how I made a light sensitive op amp comparator circuit using the LM393 chip and how I integrate it into this homemade lamp that I also showed how to make. I would much appreciate if you guys leave a like on this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming videos. One more thing, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max.imagination. Thanks for watching guys, and see you next week. Peace!